Hey guys, one more video. Today I'm going to review a product. Um, this is a flash machine. The, all the people in South Africa, everyone knows this machine. This is my second machine. I bought myself the first one was on December, I think. Uh, from Takeo, which cost me 2,300 Rand. Um, <coughs> this is the second time I bought the same machine, but not from Takeo. I bought it from DB Cash and Carry. It's, it's a physical store in Joburg, and you can get a online website where you can buy it online. It cost me 1,100 Rand plus 120 Rand for shipping or oh, delivery. So 1,220 Rand. Whether I bought it in the first time, 2,300 Rand from Takeo. That machine had a problem. Um, it was always giving me on the top. I don't know if the camera can focus. Here was always SIM card is not registered. No, uh, it's not registered on network so basically there was no network on the machine so I had to re return it and on that time when I decided to return it I got a Kazang machine I did made a video of that Kazang machine what was my experience with the machine for two months which was not good um, let me put my face a little bit down because my hands is coming double anyway um, when I received the Kazang machine then I decided to send this that faulty flash machine back and take a lot did the refund ready quickly I got my money back within a week's time I think oh, sorry about two weeks time because the guy who came and fetched the machine he uh, I forgot to give him um, gave him the charger block for that machine so it took about two weeks otherwise I could have get if I didn't forget the charger they could have refunded me that was that is fast honestly speaking and I didn't have to, they didn't deduct any money or charge me anything for any reason so I got all all my money the whole 2300 back into my takeaway account so since I had that Kazan machine, I had so much of problems with the machine. Then I started to look online in Google, where can I buy again this machine? Uh, not the one that I bought from Take A Lot, someone else. Because the Take A Lot's problem was, it was Take A Lot was it wasn't Take A Lot's own product. Uh, a third party, um, third party company was selling it to take a lot let me I think I can show you guys company name um, it was let me show you I was trying to review on take a lot post a review on take a lot I could not uh, put my honest opinion regarding the product um, <coughs> look take a lot didn't publish my review till this morning because they say look review rejected so I don't know what did I do wrong because there is, I must, they say include your full name, I mustn't include my full name, share prices from takealot.com or other retailers, I mustn't do that, use inappropriate discriminatory or other language not suitable for public forums, rate your takealot service, delivery, collection of returns, complain about sellers or suppliers. Now look, I did put a review on this in details regarding this third party, um, the company that sold this product to me through take a lot they sent me a machine that was not 
the box was already open, the SIM card was already inserted, which was supposed to be sealed. I didn't receive it like that. So I mentioned everything there and then take a look saying, no, my review was rejected because I didn't follow their guideline. Anyway, I did my, my, my original review and bring it two times I did. Two times, three times I submitted. Still, it did not accept my review. It rejected my review. And look at it. It was a total disappointment what I wrote. For me, the product came with an open box. Someone already had inserted the SIM. It's supposed to be sealed in the box and the machine never had network at both SIM card. I end up sending the machine back. Thank you, take a lot for doing the refund very quickly. That's the shortest that I did. Now, I don't know what I did wrong that they take a lot don't want me to post this. They don't want to post my review there. So anyway, that's on them. But this YouTube video is going to be published by me, which got nothing to do with take a lot. So if they like it or not, it's not my concern. So anyway, you can see currently this machine Take a lot is running it on special. I think it's it's on um, 1800 and something rent. Yes, they last night and check check check. Yesterday it was 1849 and now today is 2298. Now the place I bought my 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 new machine, they are running this. DB cash and credit. They are running this one on on special for past two months that I noticed. Online special home promotion. Yeah. Look at this. It's on one thousand one hundred. It's precisely the same machine that I have. Face cam on. There we go. Back. Um, there's nothing different on this machine. It's pretty exactly the same machine that I had it from Take a Look. Flash machine starts with the price 1100 Rand. Delivery charges was 120, so I paid 1220 Rand for a machine that Take a Look is selling 2298. I paid to three on that time. <coughs> now this machine, um, how they go in? Look here. I will tell you who sold it through Take a Lot. for the lunch my lunch is here check there oh now you see that's now it's 1841 um it was sold by Edstech wholesalers fulfilled by take -A means this is the company that are selling this product they have other products that they sell through take a lot um, yeah but what all I understand, I'm not going to buy product that is coming from take, uh, at stake wholesalers, at stake wholesalers. I'm not going to buy that. I'm sorry. So you guys can make a choice, your own. This is a basmati uh, rice I bought last time, 225. You know what? This basmati rice comes from Cape Town. If I go myself, I pay about 150 rand max, same basmati rice. But because I can't go for a rice to Cape Town, that's 300 kilometers drive. So I had I, I had to order it through, take a lot from them. Um, so you guys got the idea what it, what what difference in prices. Um, that you you expect from this company to take a lot than other sales. 
simple equation 1100 rand 1840 and special is not there then it's 2300 right anyway i don't want to talk about take a lot's machine i want to talk about their machine which is right in front of me okay i i may end up talking about take a lot machine the reason is this machine my experience was mixed with it um the problem first let me talk about problems the first two months on that old flash machine the first one that i bought first two months since i purchased bought the machine the first two months was a hassle for me to load fun on this machine because the easiest way and uh, quickest way for me was EFT money from my bank account. So what happened <coughs> after one week, the first week it did work right. Whenever I I EFT fund from my bank account to this machine, it reflects <coughs> same time. <laughs> after about seven to ten days later, then the machine started to get blocked. Then I cannot use my credential to log into the flash app this is the flash app remember this this machine has three app flash uh, shop to shop and cap to pay now the flash where i s sell all my vouchers air times and basically do the sales of products on flash right all the products is here let me see if i can focus that camera for us and the benefit on this machine that on my eye is this one has a rika function so if you want to rika for sim card you can do that here that's very useful tool that this machine has um, compared to the Kazang machine. You will get my Kazang machine's video right there on the corner. There's my finger. There's my finger. Check that, that video that I linked it on the corner of the screen. Wait. Um, the Kazang machine didn't have a Rika, but beside that, most of the function you get on Kazan, you get it on here. You can buy you can even buy national lottery for South Africa, which people call it lot. You can buy that. Uh, transfer money from one uh, flash account to other flash account, global services there. Uh, global airtime, international airtime you can sell, global data you can sell, global electricity you can sell. I never tried. I don't know how this thing works. I'm sure there is certain condition there to do those. You can pay suppliers um, for Spasco Cape Town you can pay. For the grocery shop owners, it's very useful. You can use this account for Flash. To pay your supplier like Simba, Clover, uh, Quantum Food, Dal Darling Dairy, which is common supplier for us, where we buy the product from the wholesalers. Uh, these are I'm talking individual companies that making manufacturing the grocery products like Sasquatch uh, pig flour. Um, there is lot then Sunbake. Sun, uh, Sunday daily, Econo Foods. I have Econo Foods product a lot, but I I don't buy so much in quantity, so I don't can't really buy it from straight from the supplier of fact. So anyway, lots of other companies that you can pay through this account if you have funds. Then payments for DSTV you can do better way payments are. Uh, Hi-Fi Corporations, Payment, Russell's, you can do, um, Brad Lewis, this is furniture companies, incredible connections, obviously for cell phone and laptops and PCs, you can do that, and 
um, star set you can do top 360 I don't know I'm not sure what is that you can buy I mean sell electricity and water voucher and um, entertainment you can get Netflix you can pay Netflix you can pay Spotify premium so basically it's very handy very handy um, compared to Kazan this is not that far from Kazan Kazan has one or two function more or service more than flash one or two I can say <coughs> but the the, the benefit of this machine relies on the service of this company flash it's also a south african company um, beside my initial two months when uh, i was struggling when i do a eft from my bank account they were blocking my flash machine account on the machine i couldn't log in and then when i phoned the call center then they explained or they give me explanation that because my account is new it's, it's less than two months old so whenever I do a EFT um, transaction from my bank account to this account flash account uh, their system or their server automatically block my flash account because the server is thinking that I'm doing suspicious activity doesn't make sense it completely doesn't make sense so it carries on and the guys two three four five times I phoned them and then all of them they explain give me the same experience that is gonna stay like this for the first two months initially after two months passed then that problem stopped and since then till I send the old machine back I use that one about three months um it did not i did not have problem to load fund and the the great thing about this machine is when i eft money from my bank account as soon as i say on my banking app transfer this money to my flash account okay i press okay and within that second or two i come to the flash machine and i, I check my balance here my money is just like this in just like that so quick very quick instant I'm very pleased with that because it shows my reflect my fund whatever I EFT or if another flash vendor another shop uh, who has a flash account or a flash machine can also transfer into my flash account fund when I ask a friend or someone transfer flash fund they do it and it's same time instant I don't have to wait even a minute or a half a minute or something it got, just comes <coughs> very quick to, to get fund here and to sell any product I never struggle with this machine I never struggle uh, even though some people complain about this machine that it has a poor network service uh, on the new machine I did not have any problem so far well I didn't check also actually broadly because I have a Wi-Fi so I only need the uh, its own cell phone data when there is no Wi-Fi sales was all the sales I did since this machine came Monday I ordered DV cash and carry send the product and I received it on Monday Tuesday Wednesday evening and then I set it up and I started to use it from Wednesday late evening night and it's quick anything I, I want to sell it's quick I don't have to wait I don't have no network problem no waiting lagging anything it's quick 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 that goes to the flash app now the shop to shop this is also handy from this app it's basically like my wallet where if I swipe any amount of money on the tap to tap app the money comes here from here from shop to shop account, uh, app I 
can lose the money that I've been swiping for the whole day or for the whole week or for the whole month. I can pay the suppliers, I can transfer from shop to shop, wallet to my flash account to sell vouchers, airtimes and whatsoever. So and it's, it's also quick, instant task. <laughs> it doesn't take even few seconds. Um, so that's basically the shop to shop work is that from there I can transfer money fund to other flash machine or other flash uh, what do you call it? trader and the third app that I have is tap to pay tap to pay basically is a port or app where we do the swipe <coughs> well I do have a banking bank machine this one is my bank machine where I do most of my swap. But when it's necessary for me that I I rather simple cust simple customer comes want uh, electricity or airtime or um, online casino box. They only want that. They don't want grocery, cool drinks or anything else. So what I do if it's a big amount of money, 500, 300 or 1000 and then I swipe straight to this flash machine customers card so the money comes straight to this flash machine and from shop to shop I transfer it to my flash account and then from flash I sell whatever the customer want in that way I don't have to wait for the bank to transfer my fund to my bank account on tomorrow early morning then when I wake up, then I have to EFT from my bank account to the flash machine. So basically, it saves me time. I can do it instantly if I swipe here, transfer the money to flash, then I sell the flash product from the flash using the swipe money step. <laughs> it's very convenient, very easy, very simple. Um, and uh, no hassle at all, no problem. I haven't got any money missing or like transaction is done but money is not reflected I have went got that problem yet this has been this is gonna be the fourth month that I'm going to use this machine I have not had that problem unlike Kazang Kazang I had I used that two months and I had plenty of problems with that machine that two months this is the Kazang machine you guys will see the, the other video I made for the Kazang machine. You can please, please, please. That's a very important video. So if you are in South Africa, I want you guys please do watch that video fully and understand what I spoke, what I explained to you guys, what was my experience with that machine. Please do check this video. It's gonna be somewhere there. Uh, end of the video, I will put a link also in the description. The video will be also in the link. Anyway, let's talk about this machine. It's good looking machine, trust me. Compared to this, it's this is good looking. It's good looking. And my experience with this machine, this is the software is simple. Oh, I forgot to mention there is also the flash business is this one. This is also a flash app but the older version. It basically does the same job as the flash, as the first one. It basically does the same job. It's just the version. This is a newer one. <coughs> this is a old. This is an older. One. I'm not going to get into that older one. I will want you guys, whoever buy this machine, check it yourself. It's the same things, different reactors. <coughs> um, battery. If you charge it overnight, it takes about an hour and a half to get food. Um, it lasts whole day, no complaint with that. But uh, we can't run with this more than a day and a half. If it goes the second day, then remember, this machine will not print or not allow you to swap, uh, swipe or do any type of transaction when the battery is below 20%. So. The battery must be more than 20% for this machine to do any type of transaction or sales. That's the only weakness I see. Besides that, it's, it's a simple thing. 
just keep your machine charged when it's needed to be charged don't keep it till the life of the battery is out that also helps your battery to die faster permanently <coughs> Uh, one more thing guys uh, I forgot to mention flash machine there is charges that will occur whenever whatever bank card comes to the shop and customer want to swipe and you swipe it with using this machine um, flash will charge us 2.5 percent each swipe so if someone swipe 100 and here Flash will take two two and fifty cent from us, so we'll only get ninety seven and fifty cent from that swipe. So that is their basic flat charges. They will charge us any type of bank account or card customer will come with. That's their charges. Um, it's not a lot. It's not less. This charges I'm happy with because we do get. I do get profit selling uh, the air times. I do get profit selling the the vouchers for the online casinos and betting sites uh, only electricity and water municipality escom or the water department they don't give us any profit so we don't get, make any profit on those sectors but any other um, product on flash we do get profit uh, i believe airtime gives us about two percent and vouchers for the betting or the casi online casinos give us around 2.5 percent what i noticed which is fine for me because uh, my bank charges that flash uh, cut from the swipe it covers up my profit covers up still i end up having some profit more or, or, or i get more profit left even though flash charges me for the swipe charges or bank commission so they we do, I do get profit out of this machine so I'm happy with that <clears throat> uh, my FNB bank machine they charges me sometimes three percent or more than three three percent um, so compared to that it's not bad so I'm happy with the bank charges that flash charges us flat 2.5 percent it's fine by me um i spoke to a lot of friends of mine who shop owners basically who has business shops and stuff who has this machine and most of my friends their experience with flash uh, machine vending machine is very good um I don't really know anyone that lost money on this machine any type of mishap happens um, and for my personal personally me I, I didn't lose any money or anything. nothing happened like that nothing happens so I can say with my experience and my knowledge that this is not gonna give you guys problem especially missing money ones so, um, buy the machine it's gonna help big time you're gonna enjoy the machine to operates customer don't stand in the queue for a long time to get their voucher or airtime or anything um, you don't have to wait for your fund to reflect hours or hours or days gets instantly in uh, nobody is stealing money from your account you understand so you want a vending machine you buy for yourself flash uh, that's to go I don't think the older machine you will get anymore because I tried to buy from pep store they did not have the pep store said they discontinued only some part of South Africa some pep store might have one or two machines left which is hard for them to track. So anyway, buy flash to go, bro. Uh, touch to go. Sorry, flash touch to go. <laughs> flash touch to go. Touch go to touch go. To. It's a good machine. Hassle free. 
less stress, no stress, just fine. So, I will say, guys, everyone in South Africa wanna sell flash, airtime, electricity, water, whatever. Consider this machine; it's not expensive. I will put the link for Durban uh, DB Cash and Pay from Jobo. Use that link. Buy this product from them. They are tra I received my product, so I don't have. I have faith on DB Cash and Pay that they will not do something funny. Um, they were very swift. They they the sales was done very swift. Delivery was I mean shipment was done very quick. So, you know now where to buy this machine. You don't have to buy by take a look. Buy it by deal cash. Uh, remember guys, this is not a paid or yeah, paid review. It's from my heart. I feel I needed to make this video, reviewing this product and this one. This one's video I did has uh, made it earlier. <coughs> It's useful information on on my this two videos that I put. It might help some of you guys or a lot of you guys. I don't know, but I hope for the best that it helps most of you guys. Yeah, short video, um, but trust me, you want a vending machine on your shop. This is the machine to go. Flash, touch to go. Go get yourself if you don't have one. Um, yeah, I will. I will end this video with this. Uh, check all my videos, please, and help my channel to grow by sharing my videos, sharing my channel's uh, info to your friends, family, everyone. Because I'm still struggling to get subscriber. Not enough video, not enough high quality or great videos. Uh, I'm still new on this, but if I don't grow, I will probably end up losing interest making videos or give up on making YouTube videos. But I think I still do have a long way to go, long lot of things to learn. Keep my mind busy with something that I really have interest in electronics products. Fun things, boring things, doesn't matter. Please do subscribe my channel. Do like my videos. Uh, it's you guys know by now. It helps any YouTube channels. I hope maybe grows sooner than late. Uh, I thank you guys. Thanks for watching my video. See you guys on the next one. Goodbye.